Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. Contract was successful. By the way, if you're wondering how long this game goes on for, year 35. The end of year 35 is when it ends. So we're only about two thirds of the way in and we're about to unlock some very cool stuff. So here we go. Send on vacation. <laughs> we have a technology specialist, which is not what we needed. We needed a freaking design specialist, didn't we? Oh, I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Okay, it's fine. It means as soon as Amy gets back off holiday, we can develop a new sequel for, let's go with one of our old, let's go with our oldest game, no matter what it is, Basement Crawler, a dungeon RPG. This, this could be good. Let's make it a lot, and let's make it a medium game. Um, dungeon Crawler Reborn. So I'm thinking an RPG, uh, we'll bring it out on the PC because we know RPGs do kind of well on the PC. We'll also bring it out on, ooh, let's think. Is the Mbox 360 good for RPGs? We'll do it, we'll give it a go. And also on the GS. And we'll do the Unimaginary 3 engine. I've got a feeling this could be good, so that's why we're going for it. Uh, RPGs, graphics or not graphics? Probably, I'm gonna do it, but I don't think it's gonna be a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing it because it's newer. That's my, oh no. Everyone wants vacations. Okay, stories and quest up. Gameplay down. Okay, this could be could be interesting. Let's get that balanced. Um, okay. I feel like that could be good. Uh, we'll put we'll put. Ew. We'll put Steven in charge of the engine, because he is a technology specialist now, which is fantastic. Uh, probably, no, no, we'll save Steven for later on. You know what, I think that's going to be good how it is, so let's go for that. Uh, we also need to send Juan here on a vacation, or Jonah. Juan's up there, of course. How could I get them confused? <laughs> He's ginger, for crying out loud. <laughs> okay, stage one complete. Oh, wait, no, because I sent some people on vacations, it's going to take a little bit longer for it to catch up. Which is fine, I can deal with that. We're definitely going to be doing a large game after this. Um, hopefully I can get Teresa up to uh Oh. Yeah, we'll give some information. We'll hype it. Thank you for your time. You're welcome. I'm only hyping it because it's a very old sequel. This is like a 20 year old sequel we're doing here. I don't think time plays much of a factor into it, other than I think it just has to be like over 14 months. Um, and th that's it, basically. <laughs> I'm always surprised that, like... AI doesn't play a, a big role in in uh, RPGs, but apparently, hey, this works, so we'll go with it. Uh, Steven, obviously, is going to be charge of AI. Uh, I'm doing dialogues, and Teresa is doing... Okay, let's not have that that way. Yeah, no, let's have it that way around. <laughs> no, no, we want to save Teresa. Uh, we'll, put, we'll put Juan in charge of level design. And now we're going to hype it in a small campaign. Oh, and I do want to unlock the research development lab, and that's what I'm currently saving all my research points for. Because we'll be able to... Oh my goodness, look at all the points going into this. This is insane. So not only do I want to get my research lab today, I also want to get my first large game done as well. Which I think is going to be a very good idea. Okay, lots of, lots of time going... Did I accidentally make this a large game? Because that would be stupid if I did. Uh, we need to put some more into graphics... Okay, and into sound. Balance it out just a little bit. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Teresa, you're in charge of graphics. Uh, Stan, oh no, I'm doing the world design, that's fine. Actually, no, I'm going to switch those around because... Uh, yeah, let's just go for that. <laughs> Jonah didn't play, like, one part in this game. I feel so, so, so sorry for him. I'm tempted to fire him, if I'm honest, and hire two more specialists, because really you don't use all-rounders all the time, so that might be what I end up doing. Large booth? Large booth. Why not? This is our first large booth. Let's go for it. Uh, we may even stick around long enough for it to be of effect. In fact, yeah, we're definitely going to. Look at that, 67, 68 bugs. Jeez, this is going to take a while. Okay. <laughs> good luck with that. But hey, look, 330 design and 220 technology is good. 
And here we go, Dungeon Crawler Reborn, the huge new successful game by Boundstar Games, is making a comeback ever since year one, almost a million people coming to see it, Jesus. Placed 31 in the top 100, jeez. Okay, <laughs> I'll take it. Ah, it looks like we've finally hit success. I can't believe all that time we were waiting to just self-publish medium games. That's all we needed to get money before we start cracking out new games. Today, Grapple, the company responsible for the massive successfully, Griffone has announced their plans to release a tablet device called the Gripad. Tablet devices are not a new idea in the computing industry, but earlier attempts never seem to take off. Many expect the Gripad to do very well. We're going to ignore it. We're going to focus mainly on the game's consoles rather than the uh, mobile devices. Okay, sweet. That's going to do us great stuff. And I can... Oh, Dungeon Crawler Reborn came in. Come on, please. Tens across the board is what I need. RPG works. Games work well on the GS. Fantastic. Almost perfect. Fantastic. It was probably because I needed to focus on better graphics. That's probably why. But we do actually have quite an outdated engine at the moment. Uh, let's get you to generate the game report while you train doing some game design. And everyone else better start working on some contracts because we need those research points. We need 100 research points to get Teresa to be a design specialist. Okay, within the second week, 500k. Good. It's not amazing, but it's good. Okay, please just go over 900 or 700. Uh, now the game's out on the market. Positive reviews, positive effect on sales. Let's see that rise up. Yes. Yes. One million in sales, fantastic. Sound seems to be not very important. Good, great. Okay, cool. And to research, do we have the, okay, the grow pad, we'll ignore that. Do we have the 100 research points? We do. You shall get trained to become a design specialist and we are now gonna open our research and development department in our own like labs here. It's gonna be great. Don't even care that I lost 200K. <laughs> A vacuum robot, usability study, playtest, debug program. You just go for that one because that one's the highest one. Oh my goodness. This game, guys. You have no idea how much I love this game. Okay, so with Teresa's studies completed, means we can now start focusing on cranking them up. Okay, we can now open our own research and development lab. Let's do it. 2.5 million. So our office upgrades... To visit the lab, simply click the screen and drag to the left or use the arrow keys, blah, 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 blah. So yeah, research available, internet opportunities and hardware. So if we drag over here, this is our research and de uh, development lab. Welcome to our own research and development lab. At the moment it is empty, but we have a number of skilled people eager to start working. You don't have to hire them individually. Instead, you can simply decide on the budget for the R&D lab. The higher the budget, the more research it will work and the higher the research progress will be. Running your own R&D lab can be very expensive. So be careful that you don't overspend. I suggest you start with smaller projects and don't be afraid to cut down the budget if necessary. If there is no active project, researchers will generate research points slowly, which you can use to train your main staff and unlock more game options. To start a project, simply click the screen to bring up the menu. Once you start a project, you can also cancel it using the same menu. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start a project. So we can either do internet opportunities or hardware. Um. And I kind of want to start with hardware. It's a little bit of a bigger project, but it's going to be good. The project is now started and your researchers will work on it. Uh, if you don't see the progress of the states card, blah, 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 they get to change the budget. So if we crank the budget up here, honestly, I'm thinking like 2 million per month. The more we put in, the quicker the research goes and the more people we have here working for us. So it's a very cool system. 22 million from that. We need to start making a game. And I'm thinking we're going to develop a sequel. And I'm also thinking that I should probably make a new engine for it, but I'm not going to. Let's go back quite far. Olympic Park. Y yeah. Uh, when was it made? Year 16. So it's been six years. Let's make a new Olympic Park. We're going to make it large, though. Uh, we're going to put it on... Ooh, what do we put it on? Yeah, we'll put it on the GS. does not support large games. We'll put it on the new... Oh, it does support large games. That's great. <laughs> And heck, let's even put it on the Mbox 360 and the Play System 3. We'll even buy a license for it. And we're going to call this Olympic World. Yes, and it's going to use the imaginary 3 engine, which probably is a bad idea. 
Uh, but we'll go for it. Hang on, what, what is it? Is it a simulation? Yeah, so we want to use the highest graphics available. And here we go, guys. Our first large game, while our hardware lab is in effect, this could be costly. Uh, if this game doesn't take off, then we may suffer. Okay, let's bring the engine up. We don't need any of those. Uh, we'll add in all of those, though. Um, is engine important for simulation? I think so. But as you can see, like, it's it's quite quite different. This is a large game, and we've pretty much used up all of our people already. <laughs> Let's put the gameplay up even more. Um, in fact, if we keep Juan, if we leave 17 there for Juan, then he can do... In fact, you know what? Mm, yeah, okay, no, no, no. I'm trying to, trying to figure out how to do this. Um, Steven, you're going to have to work on the engine, buddy. I think that's the best way around this. Okay, so obviously, oh my goodness, really? I'm gonna go on a vacation already? Obviously, um, larger games take a longer time to develop for. In fact, we may even hit G3. That's how long this could take. Uh, while you only need one specialist to start running a lab, you can train more than one. Additional specialists decrease the overall running cost of your lab. Good to know. And we have someone that's very good with design. In fact, she needs a break. No, that's technology, not the design. I, I think I am going to get rid of Jonah Chen after this game, because th they don't really contribute. And we could have a specialist there instead. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm such a horrid person. Seems like quite a few players use illegal copies of Dungeon Crawler Reborn. I've managed to identify some of them. We could either sue them to defend our copyright or send them warning so them to stop. I think I'm going to warn them. It's better than just outright suing them straight away. So, do you want a vacation? And Jonah's probably want to go on vacation as well. That's fine. Hype is starting to build up. This is going to be good. I've got a feeling this is going to be very good. In fact, our hardware is nearly complete. Okay, how's this work out? It's better to take a more relaxed approach. Yeah, it sure is. Okay, and we gained 389 fans. Oh boy, I'm so glad I did that. Okay, obviously this is going to slow down a bit because we had people on vacation. But look at this, Wolf, the Okami reference. Hero Citizen, I don't recognize that. Cole Protocol, is that Halo? I think so. But yeah, the hardware lab is working hard. Ha, <laughs> get it? The research lab is working hard, I should say. Uh, we, we will get a hardware lab. It'll go on this side once we develop hardware. And we also need a technology specialist for that. That's why uh, That's why I wanted it. Okay, let's bring the dialogues down. Uh, we'll get rid of that. Better AI will include that. Okay, so we want... Oh, what do we want? Amy to work on EAI. Juan, you should probably just work on dialogues whilst Teresa works on level design. Yeah. Yeah, 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 that, that works, that works. I think. <laughs> um, if anything, if we can get Amy to just do 1% less, there we go, awesome. I'm not gonna hype it just yet because, like I said, larger games take longer to develop. So I want to hype it towards the beginning of the third stage. Let's go large booth. Let's do it all out. I told you it's going to take like six months to make this game. And I was right. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this large game needs to be a hit. Otherwise, we're going to suffer financially. I mean, we're already below 100 million. I don't know how we're going to survive. <laughs> I love being money centric. Look at the hardware labs nearly done. That's insane. But it means that while we wait, we're going to get research points, which is going to be fantastic. Over a million people this year. What's that going to be like? 25th? Place 19. Okay, sweet. Okay, end of age, uh, stage two is finishing here. The hype is building. Our research is complete. There is definitely a big opportunity ahead of us. If we create our own hardware lab and have the appropriate technology specialists run it, then we can even create our own gaming console. It would not be cheap, and it would probably take us a few years, but maybe we can even trump the likes of the Mbox or the Play System. We can open our hardware lab now. Not yet. I want to see how well uh, this game does first. So, obviously, world design is going to come down. Sound is going to come up to about there. Uh, stereo sound, world design. Let's get rid of the day-night cycle and the open world. Um, our highest design is probably going to be Teresa, but she's already been used. So she's working on the world design. Okay, that makes sense. And Juan Stanley is going to have to take a break, isn't he? See, because this is a large game, we're going to need more people. So that actually makes sense to me. 
But uh, Jonah Chen, I think, is going to get the sack. Okay, now let us market a small campaign. Five, uh, half a million, which is fine. Uh, why is it not letting me open the hardware lab yet? Oh well. Let's also start the Internet Opportunities Project, because that's going to finish com uh, soon anyway. I wonder how I can open it. Oh, I'll probably just get a, a notification at like the end of the year or something. I hope so anyway. <laughs> it should give me another option later on in the game. I just didn't want to do it when uh, we're, we're running low on the money, because obviously we've just started developing a large game and it needs to take off. Otherwise, we're screwed. And I know that my engine is quite outdated. There's quite a lot of bugs here. The hype is going to die down before we manage to fix all of these. But I'm feeling good. I'm feeling that even if it's a large game, it's going to bring in a lot of money, even if it's not amazing. Because obviously more time spent on it. Ah, here we go. Today, Microsoft has announced the very own tablet device to compete with the massive market share of Grapple's GuruPad. The M-Pad features a sophisticated cover that comes with an integrated ultra-thin keyboard. The tablet itself is a widescreen display and an integrated stand. The M-Pad seems to be a combination of traditional notebook and a tablet and promises to shake up the market. The new product will be on the market early next year. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Got lots of research points, which is great. Knock out some bugs, get some extra points in there. Okay. Oh, there's one more bug. I'm very surprised, actually. Oh, no, I released it with a bug. Dang it. Yeah, I was going to say, I was very surprised that we released the game earlier with a bug and they didn't seem to care. But whatever. <laughs> okay, Teresa and Jonah have both increased online play and orchestral soundtrack. Sorry, Jonah. But I think I'm going to fire you, buddy. Yep. Sorry, you're gone. Fill position. Uh, let's go complex algorithms. Let's spend the full two million. And the reviews are coming in for our first large game. Hey, you know, seven for our first large game with, like, not amazing staff because some of them aren't that great. Isn't too bad. We'll soon see how well it does. Let's generate the game report for Olympic World. Plus, it was on the new. Like, come on. Oh, uh, it hasn't done very good at all. <laughs> okay, let's see. 3.2, no, uh, it hasn't done very, you know what, let's do it. Next time, guys. Thank you all very much for watching this episode of Game Dev Tycoon. Join me next time when we're gonna open our own hardware lab and see exactly what we can do there. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.